Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition Plus. And in this episode of our season, as Justin Allgaier and his number seven, Brant Chevrolet, we're going to Phoenix Raceway for the Desert Diamond 200. We're in the final four after winning two races in the previous round. And uh, at Martinsville, I fought to the death to get Mike Lynette into the final four. And... We didn't get him into the final four. Jeremy Clements won instead. And then there's Harrison Burton, Chase Briscoe. I don't even think Jeremy Clements should be here. Like, we haven't talked about him all freaking season, aside from whenever he pissed me off. I think it should be Austin Sindrick. Well, I don't even like Austin Sindrick. He's just been there. I am going to try to make this video with minimal editing. That way I can get it recorded, rendered, re-rendered with the edits, and then upload it and go to sleep. Because... I got stuck at work for like two and a half hours because someone forgot that they had a shift or didn't even know. So then I had to wait for someone to find someone else to come and do it. And, you know, it was canceling the practice. Yeah, practice was canceled all season. No practice. This is really 2020 though, isn't it? It's a 25-9 for the gold time. You can see it at the top right. I never put this out lap in the video. So this is this is usually like where I make a cut because you know I'm just getting ready. What's this this dotted shit on the, the yellow line on the track? Y'all seeing that? You'll see it next summer. There's like a, a weird dark dotted line along the yellow line there. And it's right here too. What the fuck? But, uh yeah. I just don't wanna have to take the time to wait for my editing software to stutter whenever I put a cut in both the face cam and the gameplay at the same time. I don't think I've ever showed you guys a video of me editing with this software. I actually have a video of me editing with my old editing software. That's in my vlog somewhere. It's called like the Pepsi editing vlog. I stumbled upon it and completely forgot about it and told Kamikaze. So it's 25.9. I'm getting a 26.8, so that's 0.9 seconds off. Okay, 11th. I only got past 10 cars to win the championship. You know, you want to know why I hate this freaking championship format so much? Like this, this final four, this this big final race nonsense, because it's it's determined by Phoenix, one race at Phoenix. Like you have all these other races, and then suddenly none of that matters anymore. It's it's all over. Versatility doesn't matter. Like how consistent they were, you go from short track to speedway to road course. Suddenly it's just fucking Phoenix. Like there's no right turns here. It's it's not even a real short track. It's it's not all the other tracks. Are you a great driver? Are you the best driver? Are you the king by outdoing everybody on all the other tracks? Austin Zendrick's on the pole, but he's not in the final four because the game is stupid. It's like, oh, well, Jeremy Clements managed to win a race at Martinsville, so he gets to be here, not Austin Zendrick. I'm pretty sure Austin Zendrick performed a lot better. We were battling with Zendrick, Briscoe, and Harrison Burton for a really long time, and then finally it's like, okay, I'm the one. I'm the champion. No, you're not. If you lose Phoenix, you're not the champion. Some other freaking guy is. How about Jeremy Clements? You finished top 10 and we all just wreck out like idiots. So Mike Carmen didn't have a good practice session. Austin Centric's car is fast today. Like imagine he just wins this race and uh, <laughs> he get to be the final four. He almost was. He was in this like three wide situation going into the final corner at Martinsville. Duh. I feel like I would be more okay with this playoff state if it was like the last few races of the season and whoever topped each section of the stats, like, you know, most top fives, most laps led, um, most wins, most points. And uh, I guess most top tens, you know, like just the top of each stats category and have those be the drivers. And it could be either... Four drivers, five drivers, three drivers, or just two. Or you could just cancel the playoffs because one guy's dominating it all, and then voila, just let him race it out. Six more races and conclude the season. But the, the point thing is, like, we, we should not have it come down to one fucking race at this random track. It didn't even make sense whenever it went to Homestead because, like, okay, so they're good at Homestead. You race there one time at the end of the season, and it's like, it could be some guy that's only good at Homestead versus this guy that's better at every other track except for Homestead where he's just fine, just mediocre. So, I'm 8th right now. 
and I'm using a, a custom setup. It's the same one from the first Phoenix race that we actually had in this season. So that's a nice thing if they have two races here, then you can use that first race to determine, you know, what you need to work on all race long. And then if you can get to Phoenix for the final four, and if you can take that winning car or take the competitive car and keep working on that car, I have no idea. But it's really, really strange. It's, it's quite rigged that whenever they get to this final four race, all of a sudden, those guys run one, two, three, and four. It's like, they could never have been more competitive. They, they, they never built their commitment to the absolute max ever before in the season and specifically ran that dominant. Just, just that final race, suddenly they're able to be that mechanically strong and, and in chemistry. It's nonsense. And then we, we have these, these dang playoffs, but all these other drivers are just there to, to ruin it to change the championship. This championship is determined by some random race, some track very different from all the others. And then you've got Cole Witt and Dylan Lupton just existing. And it's like, all right, Edwards is not the champion. Dylan Lupton blew his engine, so it's Jimmy Johnson instead. Uh, the Cole Witt thing, I'm pretty sure that was an Xfinity series, and that was how Daniel Suarez got his championship in this series. Oh, don't hit the inside wall. Yeah, I'm just kind of hanging around. And uh, the stages don't quite matter. I think it's a matter of uh, track position to get some spots at the restarts. Maybe I could be finishing better. I mean, I think I finished like third or fourth in the first Phoenix race. I'm not entirely focused right now. Don't know what I could be doing better. I'm trying to make the most of each corner at the moment. I mean, Brandon Jones just drove around me. He was mildly a factor in this season. I'd say even more so than Jeremy Clements. But to be honest, uh, Jeremy Clements was more consistent than some of these drivers that wound up getting here, like Vinny Miller and Josh Balicki. They just happened to win some random race out of nowhere. Alex LeBay deserved to be here in the playoffs. I have a hair in my face because my hair is dirty and I haven't showered in two days. But I just got off work and I want to go to bed, then I'll shower. Which is probably not the, the, the best uh, agenda to go with, I guess. Since you'd rather want to sleep in, in cleanly in bed, otherwise the bed is eternally dirty. Because you didn't shower before bed. Man, I don't give a fuck. I just freaking get my sleep, eat my food, do my work, edit the videos, and live my life. And it, <laughs> I'm overthinking shit right now. Ugh, ugh. Yeah, I could have cut all this, this stuff out right here, because, like, nothing's happening. This is... All this content right here that usually gets cut out of the videos is me just sitting here, not passing cars, looking at the cars in front of me. Because I can tell I could make slightly more perfect laps and pass all three of these guys in front of me. Uh, none of which are in the Final Four. Annette's gone. Brand Jones is gone. And Daniel Hemrick, he got eliminated ages ago, I believe. I, was Hemrick even in here? I, I think so. I don't know. But yeah, Austin Cindric is just dominating it right now. We're gonna get to no repairs. We don't need any repairs. We kept it all clean. And get four tires. We got 1.5 cans. Fill it up. I'm still ninth, so we're gonna restart from the inside. We restarted from the inside last time. That wasn't a restart, that was the start. I don't freaking know. Yeah, but there's Jeremy Clements. We're in front of him. And Harrison Burton's right there in that, that white car on top. And then the other white car on top, in front of the white car on top, that is Chase Briscoe. White car on top, white car on top. White car on top. You know, white car on top of a white car. In front of a white car on top. Dude, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm just amused by the way I started talking about that. So yeah, there's Centric over there. He's just kind of driving away. Let's see if I can do better in this stage. Even though this stage also doesn't matter. I, all right. I guess Brand Jones decided I'm not doing better in this stage. See, th this is how you determine a championship right here. I'm running this uh, great race. 
and I'm trying to close the gap on those leaders, but some other guy that doesn't even matter is pushing me out of the way, making me lose the the perfect pace I had, the, the rhythm I had to, to stay with the leaders. No, I'm getting pushed out of the way by this dude. It's, it's, it's dumb. Guess I'm passing Daniel Hemrick as we come to the the white flag of the stage. The thing is, how can you have the exact same flag for a stage in as you would have for the end of the race? You know, I could have passed Brandon Jones and then y'all had a freaking caution. So yeah, Harrison Burton, Chase Briscoe still up there in front of us. I'm going to be on the inside. Try to make some passes into turn one or whatever. Gonna pit again. Yeah, no repairs. Four tires. 1.5 cans fill the tank. If I remember correctly, in the first Phoenix race, everyone started pitting at the end. But, I mean, I don't know if it was entirely everyone. Maybe that was why I got a good finish, was because a bunch of people in front of us pit, but not everyone. I just, I, I swear I didn't win that. Okay, now yeah, we're going to make some passes at the restart. Okay, I am leading the final four. Oh my god, you can't enter a corner like that. Okay, I need to pass more cars in the turn three over here. It's still kind of weird calling this turn three after the, the, the reimagining of this, this track. See, I wanted to make some passes so I could put some cars in between us and save myself, but uh, no. I wasn't able to do that. Did my driver just downshift or something? That was weird. Like, I didn't get off the gas, but it... It shifted or some shit. That was, I mean, I don't even know. And keep it to the inside in the corner. Don't let them stick their nose in there. And I need to work my way back around Michael Lynette. You're my teammate. Help me win this championship. I did everything I could to help you get into the final four. And die, I, I, that was my fault. I touched him. And he had a feminist reaction. And, and that is what it was. Fuck. Well... We're fifth. Pass from the restart. We got that good juicy track position. Now I just gotta hold them off. So I can re-win this championship. I know they got that dang regular season championship trophy in uh, Cup. I was pretty sure they have it in Xfinity in the trucks in some way. But I could be wrong. I swear they made some kind of like really big post for, for Zane Smith winning the Truck Series regular season championship on Facebook that I saw some posts like that. So I mean, I guess they do. And we got a long ways to go. We got 22 laps left. I would like to be closing this gap on Justin Haley. I don't think Justin Haley really showed up to, to to win races and run up front until like maybe the second half of the season. And he started to become annoying right around there with me because I guess he was up there. We we're both competing for like the, the, the same positions on the track at all times. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen eventually. We're just not as fast as them. But yeah, Justin Haley, I don't think he ever won a race or something. I don't recall him even making it to the playoffs. Still there. Ugh, I'm going to battle you back. I mean, this is the final stage. It's not the second stage. It's not the first stage. Like, you can't just let this guy go. Still there. Ugh. We're going to battle it out with Chase Briscoe. Harrison Burton's held up in, in traffic, so... Me and Chase Briscoe. I don't want to let Chase Briscoe in this, this playoff thing. That's as insulting as it is that it exists. I don't, I don't need him making it even worse. <laughs> Freaking Chase Briscoe. It's like, if he can't win the race, well, then he'll make sure the guy that's leading the race whenever he gets there doesn't win it either. Some fucky-wucky shit. Let's take a look at the... Oh, God, I got loose off the turn, dude. The tires and stuff. Oh, that was close. Yeah, we're shifting into third into turn three. We got 10 laps on fuel, 18 laps remaining. Yeah, we got a pit stop to make. But I just don't know how that situation happened at the first Phoenix race. Is it a different length? 
different stage lengths? Or is it because of like a, a caution that happened in the middle of the stage? Like I have no idea. Because it's definitely really simple here. Oh boy. I used the entire track right there. Chase Briscoe, he got to me. And then now he's not getting back to me. Where'd he, where'd he go? He's still there. If I had a mirror, I would know at all times, but uh, no, they took that out for the optimization of this freaking Nintendo game. Nintendo and their desire to never have good technology. Um, I haven't spoken about this at all since I started playing this game. But in case you didn't know, this console is inferior to the GameCube. The GameCube can run at 60 frames per second. <laughs> the Wii, the Wii U, the Switch, the Switch Lite, the, the OLED Switch. Yeah, none of those can run 60 frames per second. They're all like 30 frames. Maybe more, but definitely not 60. Some funny shit. I mean, the GameCube was a more powerful system. And suddenly it's like, let's just make, like, cheap shit, put out some games, and just appease to the Nintendo fan base. Like, we're not competing with Xbox and, and PlayStation anymore. And I don't know why, why it became this way, why they went the direction they went in. It's just very strange. It's like, and because of that, there's so many games that are on PlayStation and Xbox that they can't handle without cutting like a, a ton of fidelity out of, as you can see right here. It's just nowhere as near as beautiful, doesn't have the mirror, got these stupid silhouettes compared to NASCAR Heat 4, which I played on the PS4. We are closing back in on these two guys. Back on the gas, good corner. My little name tag is popping up. I mean, I'm kind of focusing, I don't know. Send it in really hard. Back on. And then dive off the track. I might be pulling away from Chase Briscoe. That could be wrong, but I might be. I can't tell because I don't got fucking mirror. Get back on the gas. Right whenever I see it arcing back down, like whenever I feel like it, it's going to start arcing back down to the corner. That center, that's when I get back on the throttle. Just, I just, I can't tell sometimes if it's going to finish the corner. And this car is making some really weird movements. Like, before the even the, the tire worn notification popped up, it was it's some weird bottom-out feeling, like it comes from the setup. Oh, I could get loose down here with these worn tires. Yeah, like I said, we're catching these guys. Ugh. Oh my gosh, I'm losing that grip. I should just take a pit stop. Gosh, Chase Briscoe is moving at the same pace as me. Oh my god, these tires are worn. And he's going to pass me there. I got a pit. And he's not going to. Great. Just slow it down. Where's the line? Give me the line! Ugh! Ridiculousness. We... I think we have to get four tires. Yeah, I don't think I can make those left sides last. I mean, the right sides, we, we would change them, but, like, the left sides, I think they would, one of them would get to zero, like, like left front with the hard braking. I'm going to have just enough fuel to get to the end of the race right here. See, I don't know why I'm taking, that, like, that specific amount of fuel and still getting four tires. Might as well take 1.5 cans. I'm stupid. I had the time to realize that. 15.6 second stop. I've had 16 second stops. Look, like I've had some in the 14s. Jeremy Clements just passed me. Jeremy Clements. Okay, get back in there. Let's go. I think I, I just lost the championship, and not even of my own doing. I had to get four tires, otherwise I'd blow the left sides. One of them. So, I should be able to pass these guys much faster now since 
I got four tires, and I'm assuming that they just got none. And then there's the freaking caution. I'm 13th. Chase Briscoe still hadn't gotten his pit stop. Well, actually, I think he had, but he just hadn't actually come out on the track and lost all those positions. The process wasn't done yet. But there's Harrison Burton right in front of me. Just like, how am I freaking 13th? When... What? I'm hoping they didn't get tired. The fact that I just took my pit stop and Chase Briscoe was like right there coming off pit road. That's so weird. Because then I guess he did get four tires. I don't know how the heck these freaking guys came off pit road ahead of me though. They were never anywhere near me. I don't know. That just put me at a, a disadvantage. They hadn't had that caution happen specifically right there. It couldn't be like, I don't know, 10 seconds later. I'm so confused how I got in this situation. But like these guys, how did they gain all that time on me in pit road? See, now they're Harrison Burton all the way over there. Don't think I'm going to get to him. But maybe if the guys in front of them are slowing up or something, if I just send it, maybe I can get it. Okay. Oh, look at Chase Briscoe being aggressive. I'm going to use you up. You're not even supposed to be here. Fuck you. Anthony Alfredo. Should have been in the playoffs. I don't think he was. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we've got a bunch of good drivers. A bunch of notable names. They don't win a race, but they're up there. All right, all I got to do to win this playoff championship doohickey is send it on Harrison Burton. I was going to pass Justin Haley a while ago anyways. All right. And now freaking Chase Briscoe is climbing up my butthole. Shit. Uh, well said, JC, but well said. I didn't even think about what I was saying, but I said it. I did not get the grip I wanted out of turn two, one, three. I don't know, fucking know it. it. Changed the whole range of the track now. I can't even call the numbers right. Okay. I tried to make a crossover, but I couldn't get enough grip to get duck underneath them. Okay, so. The white flag. And Austin Cindric has dominated this race, but he's not in the final four. Because Jeremy Clements. Oof! Oh, you had to downshift, didn't you? And now he is just driving away. He he drove so very much away. I had I had no choice right there. I tried to get back to him, but no, he he's got way more corner speed. We're better off at the end of the run. Like in the middle of the run, we start catching them. I don't know if you noticed that because that happened twice. And then it happened once in like the second stage, and then it happened just before we took our pit stops. We were catching those guys in front of us. So early on, like I gotta make those passes at the restart, and then they start catching me, and I gotta try to defend my position. And then finally, I can actually start being competitive and drive away. I couldn't do it right there. So the game insults me by having this guy win, win the, the playoff championship four. Now look at freaking Austin Sidrick up here, just driving away while they're all those guys are back here. So weird. See, now I gotta make a, a thumbnail. <sighs> Fuck it. Good enough. Freaking thumbnail making. It's like they give you such good camera angles. It's so great cinematic, but you can't go into a photo mode. Oh, oh, oh! If it had the inside line photo mode. Oh, 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 oh yeah! If it had the inside line photo mode, it it doesn't, and I I fuck. That that's how I feel. Austin Sindrick, like he should have like won this playoff thing, but he didn't get in because like we were doing the hokey pokey with with Clements and, and Michael Annette and whatever. So, no, he dominated this race. Like that's what Kevin Harvick should have done in 2020. Like that's what he just did right here. Like that. You know, yeah, ch they say Chase Briscoe is the champion. And then all the other guys are just nobodies. Freaking Jeremy Clements is not supposed to be here. And that, that result proves it. I didn't know what to expect the, for them to put on the screen and whatever. Yeah, he he led every lap this race. What? What the fuck? What? I won the championship? I didn't win the race! Excuse- What?! Why did- What?! What?! What the fuck?! Wait, wait a second! Wait, wait a second!
second. What? 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 It just said right there that he was the champion, and now it's saying I'm the champion. Dude, this is some, like, Max for Stafford shit. Kamikaze. Fucking <laughs> Abu Dhabi flashbacks. Okay, so, so this is the playoff grid. It puts me on top. It puts Chase Briscoe last. Um. Okay. How, why? How? We all have 4,000 points. They just had some other points at the other goddamn screen. And then there it says race results. It says he finished in front of me. Did I get more stage points? I couldn't have gotten more stage points. I feel like he finished ahead of me in the stages both times. And then here's all of the point standings. Yeah, I'm on top of that one. And I don't know. Did it do this in Heat 5? This is Heat 5. Heat 4? See, I don't know because I, I was winning them championships in Heat 4. But I didn't win the Xfinity Series championship in Heat 4. Christopher Bell was the guy that did. I was playing as Brandon Jones. I'm sorry I'm making this video longer. Like, I'm trying to think. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I don't know how it, it goes from one thing to the other. Um, enjoy the truck series race today at Richmond. Uh, Roger Carruth is in it. I hope he, he wins or at least finishes top five. He's driving a Spire truck and those are winning machines. And I love Roger Carruth. He used to watch my channel whenever he was a kid and stuff. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the cup series. Let's play. I'm just befuddled. See you next time. That's that and episode over.